Today is two up day on the MR. Check it out. Glistening in the sun. Look at that carbon. It's awesome. Absolutely awesome. That SC Projects exhaust looks sick. Now when they sold me the bike, they sold it to me with these bad boys on it. Pillion pegs. And in fact they also sold it with uh, pillion seat. The only thing they didn't give me was a pillion. So we'll have to find one of those. But so in the meantime, I imagine it's as simple as... Uh, there we go. Well, should be simple. There we go. Pop that bad boy out. And uh, I imagine... Oh, wrong way. I imagine that's it. Look at that. We now have a pillion seat, you ripper. This could be a world exclusive. Could be the first two up ride on the MR, the brand new MR. Competition pack. So I stay tuned for some two up action. Now all I need is a pillion. Here we go. Let's go find a pillion. You good? No. So the first comment is it's very high. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Can the MR do two up? Let's find out. Well, I found a pillion. <laughs> uh, morning, sir. I found a pillion. I've got pillion seat, pillion pegs, and now I've got a pillion. A very important ingredient for a two-up review. And I've got to say, first impressions, bike feels rock solid. We're on a steep downhill here. Early in the morning, cold temperatures, 10 degrees Celsius. There are 11 actually. You know, fairly cold tyres. Technical little bits of uh, suburban road, these actually. They're all off camber, downhill. And uh, I've got the uh, race pro mode on, so the suspension is a bit hard. Let me change that mode, road mode. They'll soften it up a bit. Uh, I actually haven't done anything with the suspension. I've literally just thrown on a pillion and uh, no suspension adjustments. We're just going raw just to see what the uh, general feel of the bike is like. But I've got to say, other than someone. Uh, essentially wrapped around my back. I wouldn't know there's a pillion on here at the moment. Oh yeah, it's remarkable. Hang on a minute. <laughs> this is actually bloody remarkable. I don't know if uh, the pillion's enjoying it. I don't know what sort of experience she's having back there, but for me, got to say, pretty good so far. Jeez, I would not know there was someone on the back. Seriously, at this point. Low speed, I know. Anyway, beautiful Sunday morning in the Harbour City, just letting everything warm up here at the moment. And uh, potentially a world exclusive, two up on the M1000R. Certainly haven't seen another video on the topic. <laughs> so, here we go. Here we go. Um, now, my pillion is experienced at riding pillion, uh, particularly on the Multistrada, although she has been on the back of the S1000RR, not the Tuono yet, um, and various other bikes, but uh, her first comments were it's high, and of course it is on these sports oriented bikes, you, as a pillion you perch up a little bit behind the rider there. Okay, lots of little low-speed suburban stuff going on here, and I have to say I'm quite surprised so far. Quite surprised. It's a 
Suspension's good. Suspension's really good, man. I'm in road mode and it's just soaking up the bumps. And bumps are plenty. There are bumps are plenty. Here we go. Let's sneak through here. Oh, find the gear. <coughs> that was a neutral. That was nothing but user error. Nothing to do with the two up. That was just me being a novice. Which, uh, for those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you know, a novice I am. Well, I have to say, so far, honestly, I don't even know there's anyone there from a handling point of view. Braking good. Oh. Yeah, beautiful day. I'm going to take a long Sunday ride at some stage today and uh, really enjoy this beautiful winter weather. Anyway, so two up riding. Look, I'm not going to get much of a, a ride here. We're just doing a quick a quick burl. Um, and because I don't know how comfortable or uncomfortable it is back there and I suspect it's uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take my ride on a really long first ride where she gets completely uncomfortable. But is this bike a do-it-all bike? That's essentially the question being posed here. Is it a do-it-all bike? Uh, and if it can do two up, then one would say it's going to be reasonably close. Uh, yep, so, yeah, you notice, obviously in the braking and in the acceleration, you notice the extra weight. Uh, not that there's a lot of extra weight, it's only 55 kilos or thereabout. Oh yeah, she wants to lift up a bit. <laughs> That's only about a third throttle opening, by the way. Um, that's, I don't want to scare my passenger, and uh, you can you can feel uh, the front just getting quite light there, but that's okay. Beautiful, honestly, this has surprised me. Normally when I get two up on a bike, you think, oh god, I can't wait to get my passenger off so I can just have the handling and the performance back. Well, I'm, I can honestly say that's not what I'm feeling here at all. Uh, in fact, it's bloody awesome. Hang on a minute, I'm very surprised. And you'll be saying, oh, you haven't gone through twisties, you'd have done anything, or been on the bike very long. I get that, but you do know straight away, you feel straight away. You feel straight away whether or not, uh, oh, double demerit points, better slow down. Uh, whether or not um, there's a major, major impact, you do feel. Uh, the Honda Africa Twin surprised me, actually. That bike was terrible to up, absolutely terrible. Hated to up on that, you just, it was like, get off, passenger. Multistrad is awesome. Although you do you do feel the passenger, but it's awesome. This this is actually better from a rider point of view. Obviously, it won't be from a, a passenger point of view. I'd be very surprised if uh, my pillion is very comfortable. I'd be very surprised. But we will find out. We will interview the pillion soon enough. I don't have my intercom on because it was flat and I hadn't charged it. So, uh, next time we do this, we'll do it with some chat, some chitter chatter. Although, I've got to say, my pillion is particularly cheeky, and I'm quite happy that I can't hear the chitter chatter right now, because I'd be having the absolute piss taken out of me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. How's that at really low speed with the pillion on? Okay, here we are at the lights. It's all important stuff. Very stable, very secure. In fact, the bike feels more stable. No problem. Just like that. No problem at all. As we uh, cruise down through the Wakehurst Parkway in Sydney's north. 
on a so beautiful Sunday morning. Two up on the MR, eh? Two up. Love it. We will find a place to pull over up here and we will interview the pillion about the experience of being perched up high on the MR. There has been a little bit of wiggling around of late, I've felt, back there, adjusting the seating position, which suggests that uh, there might be a little bit of discomfort. Let's find out. Comfortable? Better than the Diablo. Pull your thingy bejimby up. Better than the Diablo. Better than the Diablo? What's the Diablo? Better than Ducati. That's more comfortable than Ducati. That's more comfortable than the Multistrada. Oh, you mean the Panigale? Ah, not the not the big Multistrada. To be comfortable, you know the one with the like the you know the bags on the back. So this is more comfortable than the Panigale. Uh, is it more comfortable than the? Did you ever get on the BMW S1000 AA? You did. No, not more comfortable. It's got better perspective than that. Okay. But, like, how, how long could you ride comfortably on this, do you think? Hey? Not very long. Not very long? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, that about confirms it. Hey? It, you don't like it stopping? Ah, uh, because you go... Shoo. Yeah, okay. There you go, you heard it here first, the very first remarks worldwide on the experience of a pillion on the MR. The basic, uh, the basic opinion was it's not that comfortable. <laughs> Wouldn't be able to ride that far uh, and doesn't mind it when it's accelerating but doesn't like the braking experience. There you go. More comfortable than the Panigale. You heard it here first. I've got to say, it's a piece of cake of the lights. Just one leg down. Someone's jumping up and down back there. Getting excited. Getting excited. i tell you one thing's for sure. <laughs> You'd have to adjust the suspension if you can do this properly. Because, uh, yeah, it's pretty low. Pretty low. To be honest, it couldn't be asked. Just a quick blast, quick first impression. If we're doing a proper long ride, of course I'd adjust the suspension. <clears throat> but I'm just not that kind of guy. High Calypso, the places we've been, ah! been to. One thing this whole pillion experience does highlight though, is that the weight of a rider really matters doesn't it in terms of the performance of a bike and someone's experience of a bike this is a braking performance handling performance accelerating performance no question if you're a jockey if you're like you know less than probably 60 kilos you're gonna have a hell of advantage over someone like me who's closer to a hundred kilos in terms of the performance, space performance of the motorcycle, assuming skill levels are even, it is a big deal. That's why when you see these YouTube clips of drag races on high performance bikes, one piece of information you want before you draw any conclusions is what is the weight of the riders. And I reckon once you start getting a 10 plus kilo difference in the riders weights you are no longer in apples with apples territory you are in apple and pear territory at that point it's the one thing this illuminates there's a fair bit of readjusting going on after each uh, application of the brake someone seems to be sliding forward and then having to readjust back which of course would never happen on the multi. One might say, good performance from the pillion.
you need to break a little earlier with a pillion and with slightly less aggressive inputs in every sense. Everything just a little bit earlier and smoother, like in slow motion. A little bit like riding in the wet, dare I say. Okay, my nuts are getting crunched now. <laughs> if I'm honest. Yeah, that downhill stop was a nut cruncher. Crunchy nuts. Crunchy nuts sounds like a breakfast cereal. Actually, I think it is. Oh, yeah. We need an uphill real fast. So I can get my nuts back. Oh, that's better. So, my fair pillion, what was it like back there? Fun one is going forward, but as soon as you go downhill or stop, it, you fall completely forward. Oh, you slip forward, do you? Was my braking a bit aggressive? I don't think it's just, it's even hills. It's everything. Everything forward. And how would you compare it to other bikes you have ridden to up with me on? It's probably... Definitely better than the fast Ducati. The Panigale? Yeah, but even the body position is slightly better. You're not quite as comfortable. Yeah, better body position. It's not nearly as comfortable as the Africa or the other Ducati. Not as comfortable as the Africa Twin or the Multi, but... Or even the Triumph. Or the Triumph, yeah, the uh, Rocket. But still, I mean, how far do you reckon you could ride? What sort of ride? Could we do a couple of hours ride on this on a Sunday afternoon? Day. Like a like a lunch, like a going somewhere for about an hour and then coming back for about an hour. Like a, a Sunday lunch outing, yeah. or you know, up in the up in the valley, you know, cruising around the wineries. Well, the seat's not amazingly comfortable, but it's definitely better than that other Ducati one. Yeah, okay. Well, that's great feedback. Very insightful. Appreciate your assistance in this very important world first. And uh, that's it from uh, Exodus today. Have a great Sunday. See you later.